Grinding coffee for espresso can be tricky. As a brew method, espresso tends to be somewhat all or nothing, owing to the fact that its pressurized preparation can bring out the best or worst of your coffee beans depending on how they're ground. When you add a budget to the mix, it can be tough to find a grinder that suits your machine and your tastes. For the budding home barista out there looking to improve their espresso game, we've put together a list of five fantastic picks for espresso grinders on a budget. Hey everyone, AJ here from Whole Latte Love with this year's list of the top five best home espresso grinders under $500. Whether you're looking for value, speed, features, versatility, or beauty, I'm here to point you in the right direction towards your first or next home espresso grinder. The Bedzera BB005TM is an Italian-made, semi-professional conical burr grinder that comes in a compact design and is sturdy, simple to use, and easy to clean. A relative newcomer to us, the BB005 is fairly unassuming at first glance. Sporting a rather retro, minimalistic design, there's actually a lot to love about both its construction and its performance. For starters, the grinder is produced in Italy by Bedzera designed as a companion to the full spectrum of their home espresso machines. Uncommon for a grinder at this price point is the BB005's full stainless steel housing. Also uncommon are its 48 mm conical steel burrs and its stepless micrometric grind adjustment. The benefit of this burr design is a general reduction in retained coffee or ground coffee that remains in the grinding chamber and in heat produced as the motor generally doesn't have to work as hard. On this model, rather than directly adjusting the top burr, rotating it left to right to change grind size, you instead use a small knob on the top right of the grinder to make your changes. By twisting the knob, the motion is translated into the rotation of the top burr, causing it to move closer or farther away from the bottom burr. The benefit of adjusting this way is that you can make incredibly precise and minute adjustments to your grind. The downside is that the precision comes at the cost of being more time consuming than if you were directly adjusting the burrs. You may have to fully rotate the dial several times to make a significant adjustment. As an automatic grinder, pressing the switch on the front panel with your portafilter will activate the motor to begin grinding. The BB005 is specifically a timed grinder, meaning that you can set your desired grinding time and the motor will operate for that long. Taking a more analog approach, Time is set via a dial, marked to denote zero, single, double, and triple shots. In total, grinding time can be adjusted between 2 and 28 seconds. It's important to note that if you want to stop the motor once you've begun grinding, you need to either adjust the timer knob down to zero or flip the power switch off. So why do we like this grinder? One of the key reasons is just how precise the adjustment is. When we first got our hands on the BB005, we tested it alongside Bedzera's BZ13, which had also just arrived in the studio. Even paired with a prosumer grade machine, we were able to dial in delicious shots without difficulty. Thanks to the micrometric adjustment, maintaining consistency in our extractions was never an issue. Not without its flaws, stopping a grind cycle mid-grind does take a bit of getting used to, and the motor is a bit noisy without having a ton of insulation. All that said, the BB005TM is a fantastic grinder for the money and a great choice for anyone starting out on their espresso journey. The Barazza Sette 270 has slowly but steadily become emblematic of the shift towards low retention, single dosing espresso grinders that have become increasingly popular among home baristas. Introduced initially under the pretenses that it would be positioned for all-purpose use, it's hard to deny that the Sete is an incredibly successful espresso grinder. What exactly makes the Sete 270 so good for espresso grinding? For starters, it's designed in such a way that it retains almost no coffee at all. Barazza achieved this in part by directly positioning the Sete's conical burrs and dispensing chute directly above the portafilter catch. The other half of the equation is the revolutionary design in which the outer ring burr rotates while the cone remains stationary. Coffee simply falls straight through the burrs with nothing but static preventing them from landing in your portafilter. A quick tip, lightly misting your beans with water through a process called the Ross Droplet Technique, also known as RDT spraying, 
will eliminate the static generated by grinding and ensure that all of your grounds end up where they should. Grinding on the SETE 270 is handled by three programmable time profiles and a start button. Each of the three profiles can be programmed within one one hundredth of a second, and with the SETE's output of 3.5 to 5.5 grams per second, you're never left waiting. Grinding time is displayed on an LED screen in the center of the grinder's front panel. If you need to stop the motor while grinding, simply press the start button again to pause and retain your time, or press the stop button to reset it. Grind adjustment on the SETE 270 is fairly unique as it combines elements of both stepped and stepless adjustment. The burr assembly consists of two halves for adjusting your grind. The top half, or macro adjustment, has 31 stepped adjustments, while the bottom half consists of micro adjustment wheel which adjusts steplessly. When making changes, one full revolution of the micro adjustment wheel is equal to one macro adjustment. The inclusion of the micro adjustment wheel affords users the precision necessary to dial in espresso on prosumer level machines and maintain consistent extractions. All in all, the SETE's speed, programmability, and incredibly low retention make it an attractive choice for home grinding. Additional features like its adjustable portafilter catch for hands-free grinding and easy to access burrs help to round out the user experience. As far as downsides are concerned, the SETE is made mostly of plastic and is the loudest of the grinders on the list. Regardless of its intended purpose, the Barazza SETE 270 is one of the best choices around if you're looking for a fast and featureful home espresso grinder. When we first introduced the Eureka brand to our site, the Mignon Instantaneo was an incredibly popular grinder. That said, grinding with it in the company kitchen sometimes filled people with awe at how such a small grinder could be so noisy. Fortunately, the Mignon Silenzio was released shortly after, offering the same compactness and versatility, but with sleeker casework and quieter grinding. Like the BB005, the Mignon Silenzio has both an analog grind timer and micrometric burr adjustment. Standing at only 14 inches tall, the Mignon owes its signature look to its one-piece aluminum housing. The micrometric grind adjustment allows for incredibly precise changes to your grind size. However, unlike the BB005, the Mignon's adjustment works a bit differently. Similar to other Eureka grinders like the Atom and the Zenith, the Mignon's grind adjustment key doesn't directly move the burrs, but instead raises and lowers a shaft inside the motor which in turn raises and lowers the bottom burr. This unique solution not only provides incredible control over adjustment, but also allows the Silenzio to retain your grind settings when you remove the top burr for cleaning. To start grinding, a portafilter activated switch underneath the grinding chute can be used to start and stop the motor. Using a button on the bottom right side of the grinder, you can set the operation mode to either manual or time dispensing. In manual mode, you start and stop the grinder manually, grinding exactly as much coffee as you want. In timed mode, the analog dial can be used to set automatic dispensing time between 1 and 14 seconds. From an aesthetic standpoint, the Mignon is one of the best looking grinders on the list. The body is made from powder coated aluminum with a chrome top panel and a grind chute. Available in a wide variety of colors, there's sure to be an option to fit any home espresso bar, though some of the more extravagant finishing options cross the $500 threshold of this list. The Mignon Silenzio helped to redefine the Eureka line for us. Its compactness and price make it an incredibly accessible choice to anyone looking for an attractive and high performance grinder. Some things to be aware of are that the Mignon's smaller burrs and smaller motor limit its grinding speed to about 1.2 to 1.6 grams per second when grinding for espresso. Grinding noise is significantly reduced compared to similarly priced grinders from other manufacturers though grinds may clump a little bit at finer settings. Apart from that, the Mignon Silenzio is a high quality, capable grinder that easily fits into most kitchens and budgets. The Barazza Vario is a great grinder. It has been for a long time and it was once a commonly recommended grinder to pair with prosumer espresso machines. As commercial grinder manufacturers like Chiado and Eureka came into prominence among home users, the Vario took a backseat to bigger burrs and bigger motors. 
Eventually, the advent of the sete took the world of home espresso by storm and the Vario was overshadowed by its ingenious, albeit unconventional, sibling. However, the Vario more than deserves its spot on this list as one of the best all-purpose coffee grinders. And yes, all-purpose does include espresso. As the term all-purpose suggests, the Vario is capable of producing grinds suitable for all forms of coffee preparation, from espresso to French press. This identity is fully embraced by Barazza, with the Vario shipping with both a heavy-duty aluminum porta holder and a ground coffee catch bin. Unlike the other grinders on the list, the Vario has fully stepped grind adjustment. However, in the context of all-purpose use, this is actually an advantageous design decision. Because the steps offer fixed and unchanging points of reference, that means that you can very easily locate the position of specific settings for different brew methods. Similar to the Sete, the Vario has both macro and micro burr adjustments. In addition to easy to remember grind setting points, the Vario set the standard for Barazza's timed grinding with three programmable time profiles. Just like the Sete, the Vario can either grind a profile automatically with time displayed via a digital screen or operate manually for on-demand dispensing. Given the Vario's flexibility when it comes to grinding for all brew methods, profiles can be set not just for single and double shots, but for entirely separate devices. Rounding out the Vario, its 54mm ceramic burrs keep their edge well and generate less heat. While this list is for best espresso grinders under $500, the Vario's multi-purpose persona is what makes it such a great deal. While its grind settings are not as infinite as a stepless grinder, the Vario offers far more variability than most stepped grinders. Compared to the Sete, the Vario can be a bit slower and perhaps not quite as precise at dialing in shots, but it brings a lot to the table when it comes to full spectrum grinding. The second grinder on this list, whose manufacturer also makes espresso machines, the Pro M54 is an espresso grinder produced by Profitech as a companion to their high-end espresso machines. Following the same matter-of-fact naming convention as their other grinder, the Pro T64, the name describes the grinder's operation and burr size, manual and 54 millimeters. With a minimalist design philosophy and push and grind operation, the Pro M54 in many ways sells itself on looks as much as on grinding performance. Starting with the exterior, you'll notice the polished stainless steel housing that provides a brilliant mirror finish. Featuring a unique eight-sided design, the Pro M54 trades flashiness for simple, subtle aesthetics. The build quality is something that goes beneath the surface with an aluminum frame supporting the housing and motor. Where Profitech's attention to detail as a luxury home brand really shines is in the insulation of the motor, which dampens the sound of grinding. Much more pleasant sounding than the loud grinding that you hear with the BB005 or Sete 270. Grinding on the Pro M54 is straightforward. Simply push the activation lever with your portafilter. The motor will run for as long as you hold the lever in place, and that's it. While time grinding is nice, if you have a suitable scale for dosing your shots, you'll get a feel for what your desired dose looks like and how long it typically takes to grind. With a pair of 54mm flat stainless steel burrs, grinds are consistent and distributed properly for espresso extraction. Similar to the Vario, the Pro M54 is a stepped grinder. However, adjustment is accomplished by pressing down on a release lever and rotating the grind adjustment collar left or right. The release lever also doubles as a locking mechanism to prevent accidental adjustments from being made. As a result, adjusting and dialing in, the Pro M54 will be much faster than the BB005 or the Mignon Silenzio. Compared to the other four grinders, the Pro M54 does little else but grind coffee, and for many people, that's enough. With its German engineering and built-to-last design, the Pro M54 is as sturdy as the machines it was designed to accompany and exists to facilitate your daily intake of espresso. While it may not have the speed or programmability of some of the other grinders, the Pro M54's reliability and attractive design are perfect for the espresso minimalist. Any of these grinders would do nicely in a pairing with entry level or even up to a prosumer machine, and their modest price points make them perfect picks for anyone creating a home espresso setup on a budget. If you have any questions about these grinders, leave a comment below and I'll get you an answer. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the button right here and be sure to come back for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.